Many people invest using mutual funds. Last week, I told you why I don't like investing in actively managed mutual funds. One of the main reasons, they are often too expensive relative to returns that you can get. So today, I want to share with you the solutions to this problem. I want to share the alternative investments like index funds and ETFs. Grow your wealth, live on your terms. Hi, welcome to the Wealth Building Tips and Strategies mini training series. I'm Milan Levis. I help professional women become financially independent faster than they believed possible. So they don't have to worry about money anymore. Okay, let's talk about the solutions to high fees charged by mutual funds. I'm going to tell you some great alternatives to mutual funds invested. Alternative number one. Index funds. Index funds are kinds of mutual funds that are constructed to track the components of market indices. So let's talk briefly about what stock market indices are. A stock market index is a measurement of the value of a section of the stock market. It is computed from the prices of selected stocks, typically a weighted average. Stock market indices called benchmarks, tools used by investors and financial managers to describe the market performance and to measure and compare the return on specific investments. Let me give you some examples. The Dow Jones average. That is one of the oldest, most well-known and most frequently used indices in the world. It includes the stocks of 30 largest and most influential blue chip companies that represent U.S. economy. Another example would be Standard & Poor 500 Index, S&P 500. That is another um, benchmark, also called as market index, which is, com which is com uh, comprised of 500 largest U.S. firms, including names like Apple, ExxonMobil, General Electric. Now, back to index funds. So index funds, which are a special breed of mutual funds, provide one, broad market exposure, two, low operating expenses, and three, low portfolio turnover, meaning they don't sell and buy uh, positions within portfolio often. Index funds are not actively managed uh, mutual funds. And that's why the fees that they charge are really low. For example, 0.1% for index funds versus 2% fees that are charged by mutual funds. How come, you may say? Because they put happy little robots in charge of funds uh, investments, which typically track the market indices, and apparently they do a good job. Robots don't command high salaries or demand bonuses, so the fees of index funds stay low. And according to various reports on index funds performance, 84% of the time, index funds managed by robots, also uh, referred as algorithms, outperform mutual funds that are managed by highly paid investment teams. Let me say it again. About five out of six mutual funds are losers compared to index funds. And due to the nature of index funds design, they basically mimic specific market indices, index funds would be considered a passive management strategy, just like mutual funds as well. Passive individual investors like individual funds, uh, like index funds, for their simplicity. Index, index funds investors don't even need to have a brokerage account to invest in index funds because they can usually be purchased through an, the investment bank. This keeps things simple and attractive for many individual investors. However, some index funds can only be purchased from the issuing company. For example, if you want to buy a Vanguard S&P 500 index fund, you must purchase shares directly from the fund company by first opening an account with, uh, at Vanguard.com. You can follow the following steps to invest in index funds. One, decide where to buy. You can purchase index funds directly from a mutual fund company or a brokerage company. Two, pick the index fund that you want to track 
pick the pick the market index that you want to track with your investment with your index fund and three check investment minimum and other costs as i said earlier low costs are one of the biggest selling points of index funds to sum everything up remember this index funds are considered by many to be the sleep well investment they're highly regulated they cost very little to buy and on and they give you solid diversification and they quite liquid meaning that you can buy and sell them fairly easily all right moving on alternative number two etfs exchange traded funds etfs is another alternative another popular alternative to investing in mutual funds unlike actively managed mutual funds etfs are not actively managed by professional fund managers therefore the etfs uh, etf fees are significantly less than those for mutual funds and etfs are excellent instruments to diversify your portfolio in short etfs are baskets of securities that trade in real time unlike mutual funds they they trade on in real time on stock market exchanges similar to stocks etfs are commonly used to track market indices similar to index funds as well as market sectors and even some industries for example you may choose to invest in energy sector etf symbol xte or technology sector ETF symbol QQQ or financial sector ETF symbol XTF instead of holding positions in individual stocks. Most brokerage companies have stock trading platforms that offer search for you can search your ETF um, choice by market, by sector, and by industry. And that's how you can find corresponding ETF. And one of the biggest differences between the mutual funds and ETFs is that ETFs are traded in real time, as I mentioned, like stocks. And they traded on stock market exchanges. That's why the name is exchange traded funds. As a result, you, the investor, can enter and exit ETF trades with more flexibility than mutual funds or index funds because ETFs trade any time during the market hours, unlike mutual funds. And the ETFs are priced uh, in real time versus mutual funds and index funds priced only at the end of the day. Since ETFs are listed on market exchanges, just like individual stocks, they can go up and down, just like stock prices, and can be bought and sold like regular stocks. Very convenient. Using ETFs can be considered passive investment strategy as well. However, because ETFs are really flexible investment instruments, they appeal to both passive investors and active investors. Okay, let's recap. Most mutual funds not only underperform the market, but also take a big piece of your earnings pie. Right? That's why I don't like to invest in mutual funds. The better and cheaper alternative would be in, to invest using low fee index funds and ETFs, exchange traded funds. And here you have it, the greater alternatives to investing in uh, using mutual funds. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope it was helpful. You can post uh, your feedback in the comments. I always love to, to hear your feedback. And if you want to learn more about investing your money so it starts working with you, for you, it starts working for you, you can email me at milan at daretochangelife.com. Milan at daretochangelife.com. In the meantime, join my free private Facebook group, Wealth Building for powerful women, well building for powerful women, where you can ask any questions, share your ideas, get tips about becoming financially independent and creating lasting wealth. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be wise with your money. Grow your wealth, live on your terms.